Once upon a time, I wrote a love song for you. So now, we are going to score this. Um, and move away all this stuff here. So now, put that aside. We can score this um, one eighth of an inch or something. Just a little flap with this one. Let's see if I'm going to put this here. So I'm going to be able to like that okay so this would be my guide like that I just put a mark on it okay that would be enough or maybe here okay now that we got that I'm gonna score it just like so Done with the scoring. Now we can fold and tuck it in. I'm gonna use my tape runner. Oh, I have fur in there to dispense tape. Double sided tape runner. Ooh, yos. So we can kind of Yep. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, now that we got that, we're going to cut this a little bit because it's kind of protruding to the side, see? So we're going to cut that a little bit. Oh man, I'm gonna cut my sun. The sun that's in here. That's okay. I'm still gonna show a little bit of it. So I'm gonna put this here and then cut him a little bit. Cut him a little bit. Okay, now that we got that. Okay. So we have this envelope flap for journaling and the sides uh, in the front and the back, the little sun. How cute that is! Um, so we are going to use this as um, flaps. For our tucking in our signatures and the um, twine binding and also the flaps the extension flaps that we have just made is a um, is a balancing object so that balancing thing <laughs> balancing material so that it can't be moved and scoot away from the the seam of the binding you know because we just tuck it in there so it just serves us like a reinforcement to not to not fall on the book on the journal fall off the journal so and this one i'm gonna make this one with one and one eighth also so let's see if i'm making my Okay, so I'm gonna make this one, this one. Okay, we got that. So now we are going to be able to um, The sun is on my face. So, I. Okay. 
Okay, so we are going to. Okay. Now that we got that straightened out, hey! We got it! We got it! Woohoo! It's so pretty! So this would be our flaps. So, so it looks like this. Kind of like that, you know? When you open your book. So now, we are going to make the book part. So that's four by six. So we're gonna make it four and a half, like four and a quarter. Four and a quarter by six and a quarter. Just to make some, just to make um, room for four and a quarter and four and a quarter. Four and a quarter by six and a quarter, okay? Then we're gonna make our six and a quarter, six and a quarter. Let's see. So Quarter by six and a quarter. So I'm gonna gonna um cut this off. accident So we can four and a quarter, right? I'm just gonna measure it from here because it takes too much um, time to give it like that. Four and a quarter. These are the two pieces that we're going to use for our as much as we can go. Yeah. These are the ones. That's for our cover. And for our spine binding, we're going to make two and a half. Two and a half. And a half, two and a half of spine binding. A little bit more. Oh, 
Two and a half, yeah, that's right. Two and a half. Two and a half of the spine binding. So this would be like this. Two and a half by six and a quarter. Okay, now that we got this, we are going to assemble our cover for the journal. Oopsie. So we are going to be able to... Glue this together. Two together like that. <clears throat> I'm gonna glue it with um double sided tape that we have here. Once we got that too. Okay, we go with that one. So we are going to put our pieces together here and then here is the so <laughs> we are going to have a little bit of gap between these two so that we can fold these pages together. Yes, yeah. So we could play around with the position of it before we glue it down. So now that we got that, we can glue the pieces together. I'm going to use my glue runner again because I think it's easier for me to do that for now for faster experience. Just to save the papers too. 
there. Now we are going to put this paper here. Level it off. Ooh, I'm crooked. <laughs> forgiving I guess Then we can can just put this together. Silly burnish. And then we cut. <laughs> we cut this. Cut, cut. I think we're gonna cut it like this. Then that one. Then we cut. Save that paper for later. Maybe, maybe we can use that. This is, doesn't have to be straight because you know we're gonna cover it anyways. So I just use it as that. Then leave an um on uh, a very tiny gap in here, tiny paper in the corner before you cut it. So you can cut it like that. See, there's a okay. Sorry, a little bit more. It's a tiny in the corner tiny tiny piece of paper in the corner yeah that's how we're supposed to cut it so that we can fold it in a way that's not gonna expose the corners too much We got this one. I'm gonna fold it in and fold it in, and I'm gonna cut this in here. Okay, we are going to attach touch and touch. Touch and 
burning shit. Burning shit. Ah, uh, that's. Burnish it. Burnish, burnish, burnish. So we are going to Now we have our cover for our twine binding journal. So now what we're going to do is get our binding. This is a baker's twine that I have purchased online. So what we're going to do now is um let me trim this off because it's bothering me it's bothering me so much We are going to cover the inside still later on. <laughs> no, we, we don't want to forget that. <laughs> yeah, so my thing is you go at the bottom. Just a little bit. Um, I think that's what it was. <laughs> the bottom or I think it would be in the top. In the top part. Yeah not on the bottom around here in the bottom go like this okay so that you 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 are going to put a loop on the page so that we can have this extra th hanging thread from the ends so just about like let's see put about five to six inches of hanging thread then we're gonna loop the loop it, loop the loop it, loop the loop on our twine, loop the loop on our twine. Make a little slack, but not too tight. Also, um, <laughs> make it tight, but not too tight. Okay. Sorry, I made mistake. I'm not in frame. You loop it. Loop it, loop it, loop it. So now that we have that, we are going to place it in a way that it's, um, Place it in a way that um, place 
it in a way that um, that it's just like laid out flat and all the knots so that you won't have a hard time um, making the um, the pages jumbled up together. Okay. So I think that's about it for now. Maybe I can do one more. Maybe I can do one more. Then let's cut it. Let's cut it six inches also. Tail. So yeah. I'm gonna go on the other side now. Then um I am going to kinda gather this tail end loop in the bottom and insert it towards the other side. Weave it to the other side. Like this. And on the other side, I'm going to weave it to the other side also. Okay. Weave it to the other side also. this and tie a knot tie a knot I oopsie I went too far tie a knot like that and put a hole on it <laughs> see it's my first time you doing this so just bear with me okay we're gonna find it out together. Tie a knot and then um just tie a knot. Then we are going to put a bow on it. Securely tie these threads together. So there we have it. Now that we have these pages made, so we can tuck it in. Start from the middle. Take one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're gonna start a number. Um, we are going to start a number five. We are going to start our number five thread in the middle and we are going to um, take it like that. <laughs> Ooh, posers. Uh oh. Not that, but this one right here. Right in the middle. How am I supposed to do this? 
We have this flap, you know. Then the next one, it would be on the other side. So we, you can see, we can go on and on and on about this in how to um, make this journal really. Really good. Okay, so this is the journal. Yeah, this is the journal. We have our top a flap and the flap for the envelope um, cover. Then the tuck spot, then another one, and then um, the flap, and then the uh, journaling tab. So this is how you make the journal. Oh, by the way, the insides. You have to cover the insides. So I'm going to go for another red. I think I'm going to go for this. These ones, these two pinks. Although it's not really the same, but similar. So, I am going to um, cut them. Four by six. Approximately four by six. Four. Oh yeah, it's definitely for basics. Let me see if it covers it. Let me see if it covers it. Hey, it does! Yeah! A little bit less on this thing. Ooh. Oh, these are double-sided. So we are going to kind of make it like this.
Okay, now that we have that, except the spine binding, I forgot to cover it with um, pattern paper. But in a nutshell, this is how we're, we make our journal. So we can open it like this. Open it like this. 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 And we're going to fill it more in the future for our... Um, weekly journaling stuff um yeah so this is how you make a twine binding journal so i hope you guys are inspired to make this journal and check out my links in the description below and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the likes button so that tells youtube that you like videos like this and i will make more videos like this if you would like me to and don't forget again to check the description link for the um, products that I used and also for the examples that I be selling, the example materials that I'll be selling on my shop in a digital format. Thank you so much again for watching and see you on the next slide. <laughs> see you in the next scene. Bye.